JEDI, or Global Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation, is an experiment connected to the International Space Station that uses a laser technique called LIDAR that scans the ground and determines the height of trees. This information can help us track the rate of deforestation and make predictions about climate change, as well as making weather predictions more accurate. JEDI was deployed in 2018 and is scheduled to remain a part of the station until 2023. This is how JEDI lasers will come to the rescue and save our world before it's too late. The JEDI module is connected to the Japanese Experiment Lab on the International Space Station. It was attached to a rocket in 2018 and added to the ship in low Earth orbit. The International Space Station actually had to have its orbit shifted slightly to allow for maximum laser coverage. Now, as to how JEDI works, the most crucial method to its success is LIDAR. LIDAR is a method for determining the distance between two objects by launching a laser from one object and seeing how long it takes to reach the other object and bounce back. This works because the speed of light is constant, so you can just multiply the travel time of the lasers by the speed of light to get the distance. Another way to think of how JEDI works is to think of a bat. Bats use echolocation. When using echolocation, a bat sends out high-frequency sound waves in the direction it is facing. The sound waves then bounce back if they hit them. This allows them to determine if there is an object in front of them, and if so, the object's distance from the bat and its size. This is called echolocation. JEDI uses LIDAR, both of which are used to detect the distance between an object and its target. Think of it like this. JEDI uses a light-based version of echolocation. It uses this light location to find the Earth's biomass, or the total mass of all of its vegetation and the growth rate and carbon dioxide storage of trees. As we previously stated, JEDI performs vegetation measurement and collects data on the heights of trees. But what many people don't know is that JEDI can help to slow or even stop global warming. By taking measurements of tree heights all across the globe, scientists can identify where lots of carbon dioxide is being stored, which trees feed on. This new information JEDI would provide could be crucial to saving the world from the detriments of climate change. JEDI can also assist in predicting weather condition, conditions and stopping the spread of invasive plant species. JEDI can help weather predictions because JEDI's lasers can detect when there are clouds in an area, which can help determine whether an area is likely to receive participation or not, and the probability of these things happening. JEDI can also help stop the spread of invasive plant species. It can detect how far the invasive species is spread by finding areas that are all at the height of the invasive plant and setting up strategic blockades to save native plant species from being overrun and destroyed. JEDI, unfortunately, will not last forever, and is, a, and is planned to be decommissioned in March of 2023. NASA has decided to jettison the module and end the JEDI mission, but we can't let that happen. This amazing piece of technology could help save, their lives, save lives from extreme weather, give more knowledge to biologists and botanists, and end global warming. We understand that this project has a high cost and the space on the ISS is limited, but think of the possibilities and opportunities that this little machine could offer. For JEDI to be safe, we must work together to convince NASA that JEDI needs to stay. This can only be possible through the collaboration of many people, so if you want JEDI to keep fighting to save humanity, share this video with everyone you know to share awareness about this issue. This is JEDI, a three-laser experimental module on the ISS, and it could save the world. Thank you.